Good morning. So, uh, what is it? 6.30. Um, Uber out here playing games. They sent me this one. I'm doing it. It's a good order, right? There ain't no hidden tip on it. I'll, I'll call it now because they sent me this order a half an hour ago for six bucks. So it took them 30 minutes to send it to me and it was worth doing. All right, got the Uber from 7-Eleven picked up. And for once it wasn't hot dogs. Oh wow, a Krispy Kreme from Duncan. This is gonna be trash. Yeah, $18 for 18 miles? <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah, all these apps lowering the base pay is funny because they still end up paying like way more in base pay because no one takes these ridiculous orders. So they're like, people who tip good we can trick them into taking those orders. Those orders are good for them. And then the people who don't tip good, they, they don't trick nobody and they have to pay out way more money to get the order done. It's a very transparent system. All right, so I got that second Uber that I've done for the day dropped off. And Uber sent me a couple other ones that can't do them. And uh, I got this DoorDash. So I decided to accept this order because it was driving back to Dunkin' Donuts right by my house and then dropping off like a couple miles away from that. But really, why? Why did I do that? All right, change of plans. I dropped that DoorDash. That shit was trash. Uber sent me this one. There's absolutely no reason I shouldn't do this one. So, Uber. Uber working out this morning. This will be 40 bucks, three deliveries on Uber. All right, so I got that Uber, the third Uber dropped off. Um, I've, I've delivered to that lady a couple times. She's very nice. She has a walker. She has a hard time getting around. So I brought the groceries in and set them on her kitchen counter for her. She likes to talk. I don't mind talking, but I gotta keep it moving. All right, all right. So I just looked and that Uber I just dropped off, she tips up front. It was actually 24 bucks instead of 22 bucks. And then right when I pulled out of her neighborhood, I signed back in on DoorDash, immediately got the CVS order. It's low for a shop and pay, but man i need to keep money coming in and it's funny because when i started doing instacart i was declining instacarts that i was like man or no i was declining door dashes that i was like if that was on instacart i'd do that and now i'm total other end of the spectrum like i would never do an eight dollar shopping order on uh on instacart but here i am it's only freaking coffee and milk so how hard can that be all right so it took me one minute to pick up the coffee and the milk and they didn't even have the coffee the person wanted. But luckily they picked a substitution and they had that one. And uh, I don't remember where else I was going to go with this. Check it out. They got a Shelby Mustang license plate. Don't buy one. That's funny. All right, so I just got this one. Definitely not the best order, but uh, I'm trying to keep it rolling. Instacart, I <laughs> so many orders under ten dollars now. Just like all the time, orders under ten dollars. I'm wondering if they started charging the customers more too, and paying us less. So now the customers tip less or something. I, I don't know, but I don't feel like I used to see so many. Uh... I guess they were just be ten dollar orders before, but. It just seems like so many that are under ten dollars. All right, so I just drove to McDonald's, and the girl said that she didn't have the order that I have. So now I'm talking to support. We'll see if they give me three bucks or something. But anyway, I'm gonna. 
go do this Instacart. So I dropped off that Instacart. I was just looking at my uh, earnings and that second Uber I did paid me an extra five bucks. Like, I wonder how many orders Uber is sending out that like I just decline, you know, cause they're more than $10, but they're also more than 10 miles away where it'll pay way more than that. Like hiding the tip works great. All right. <clears throat> I almost made it back to my house. I was only two miles away from my house dropping off that road. But anyway, before I even made it back to my house, they hit me with this one. It's a lot of driving, but the money's good. So I'm going to do it and get that good gas mileage, put more money in the pocket. This, this will put me well over a hundred bucks before noon. So it's a good day. All right, so that Instacart took me less than 30 minutes to shop for it and get it in the car. And uh, I'm about 20 minutes away to drop it off. So round trip total, probably about an hour and a half to make 60 bucks, 57 bucks, whatever. I didn't have to refund nothing. This should be full payout. So I'm getting 40 miles to the gallon going to this house. And uh, yeah, so the other day when I did that 113 mile bike ride, my friend that I went with, like just every house that I've delivered Instacart at that we passed, I was just like, yeah, I've delivered to them and I've delivered to them. And she's like, wow, you really do this a lot. Yeah, I delivered to that lady one other time. I did remember her, and that's funny because that's what Instacart does. They'll pair you with the people that uh, you do a good job and they're happy with your service. So, like, yeah, that's a bit of driving, but I'll do that any day. It's, it's only been 50 minutes since I started that order. I just made $57.